my favorite boxes in the absolute universe. It's from my buddy Ruben over at IRF Authentics. The, I mean, this is just incredible art. I think this. I think he did these. So um, absolutely gorgeous art. Um, I always talk about presentation. Presentation on these boxes. You have a custom box that's made pretty often, so it changes pretty often. So you can collect these boxes even. Just dope. Um, really, really excited for this. These are about $130, I believe. Um, they are cheaper if you buy more than one. One of my favorite boxes in the world, guys. And uh, go visit me on Whatnot. I can't say that enough. Um, I know we're pimping Whatnot, but I spend a lot less time on YouTube nowadays. But I spend a lot of time on Whatnot. And even if you're not going to buy anything on Whatnot, it's a chat form. You can come talk, come hang out. I would love to hear from you. Nothing else in there. Guys, one of my favorite things about these boxes is not only um, not only is it just packed full of value, um, everything in this box is signed. They all come with a COA. Some are multi-signed. There's going to be sketches. There's going to be sometimes there's art cards. Sometimes there's figures. I love a good figure. Signed Funko Pop or something. I love it. But everything in this box is signed. Um, and... It's just dope. And when I tell you the signatures are on point, the signatures are on point. So we're going to see that. I guarantee you that in this box. I have no idea what's in here, but we got two, four, six, eight, and nine books. Um, I don't know. Is there a thing? <laughs> There's no thing. Um, so I don't know which way to start, but I don't know. We'll start this way, I guess. I think we're supposed to start this way. So first book we got is Kintara Stone. Um... It is signed by, it looks like, the writer. Uh, first appearance of Silas, Emily, and Jason. Um, hearing good things about this book and hearing some spec about this book. Uh, optioned news about this book. And uh, Ruben, the creator of IRF Authentics, is in this book. Dope. Um, I think I have like eight copies of that now, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's a good book to have. Um, so this one is really, really cool. So this one's signed by Colin Kelly. And Jackson Lansing, and this one is, with with all the Kang hype right now, this is multi-signed, absolutely crazy signature. I'm going to try to get signatures shown for you guys on here, because the signatures are insane, and I know with, I got a lot of lighting, but you can see two signatures in that corner there, absolutely dope. Silver Sigs on a really hard book, a lot of multicolor, a lot of multicoloredness on this cover. It's a hard book to get a nice clean signature, and there's two of them on there. Absolutely looking gorgeous. Vampirella. <laughs> nice. I see that that, that uh, famous Tony Fleece of the Stray Dogs fame on this dope little Vampirella book. And again, not a black, not a black Sharpie. We got like a nice colored paint pen. This thing is gorgeous. Everything in these boxes comes with a uh COA, but nice to <laughs> nice that it's a Vampirella cover, but you still got that Tony Flea Stray Dogs look to it. It's really, really cool. I love that. I actually don't have that cover. That's really cool. Um, there are some virgins and minimals in here, and I want to get them right, figure out what this is. So this is uh, Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality. This is a Young Guns variant. I know Young Guns variants can go for some money. At times, I'm a seller a lot, so I know that because <laughs> I've sold them. Uh, this one's signed by Greg Land, the man. Absolutely dope. Very, very cool. And we got that gorgeous signature there. Absolutely perfectly placed. Very, very nice. Love that. Listen, guys, anytime you guys get a Greg Land signature <laughs> in a box, be happy about it. That is dope. We got Tom King signed Batman 37. Again, just a great cover. And the signature right on Batman's head there. I'm trying to look at it in the camera. My eyes are all not wearing glasses, so. Oh man, one of my favorites. And this is gorgeous. This is straight to the PC. Love this book. Um, I've got so many variants of this book. I do have this variant, but I don't have it signed. I actually have the virgin incentive of this as well. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. This is an asthma acting up. Absolutely gorgeous if we can get it to focus. But Twig. I don't know how to get this thing to focus. Twig. Look at this signature. There is nobody. When I say signature placement is so important, this is a blue 
nice blue Scotty Young signature on a twig book. It could have been placed anywhere on here, and it is absolutely strategically perfect place. This thing is perfect. Straight to the PC. Love Twig. Love Scotty Young. And I'll get to replace my plain old non-signed copy with that gorgeous signed copy. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so this one's signed by Matt Hawkins. Um, nice little DC Virgin. Looks like Mark Silvestri Virgin. But I DC doesn't do Virgins very much. So this thing is gorgeous. Um, Mark Silvestri uh, Virgin variant. Batman and the Joker Deadly Duo number one. Um, yeah. I mean, if you can get a DC <laughs> Virgin, that's absolutely dope. And uh, you got that nice blue Sylvester sign uh, Matt Hawkins signature on the Sylvester variant. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is cool. So this will probably be the one thing that won't stay in the PC. Um, that's not the sketch, is it? Okay, wow. Oh, gosh. Um, I knew there was going to be a sketch, so I was hoping this wasn't the sketch, because I don't, I don't like, I, lo I, I like the art, I don't like the book, uh, but this is Ha Ha number six, signed by this month's featured artist for this box, Ken Salinas, and this is, uh, this is dope. Again, nice little blue, oh, dang lights, nice little blue sig over here, looks really good. Um, ha Ha is not my thing, so... If you guys want that, it'll be on whatnot. I promise you for that one. Um, super cool. There's some dope variants for Haha, -ha, for Haha, -ha, and including that one is a dope variant. Guys, we got a full cover sketch with the IRF authentic stamp, which I really do love that they do the stamp. This one is hand number 22 out of th uh, 22 out of 23, and full cover sketch with a COA, and we got multicolor. It is just gorgeous, and I can't. I mean, this is a PC book all day. Um, again, sketched by Ken Salinas, got the nice signature down there. It's dated as well. This thing is gorgeous, and this is um, X Men Battle of the Atom blank sketch cover with a full sketch on it. This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely love this. Um, super super cool. I wanted to keep these videos short, but man, that is just dope the the uh again this is a full cover sketch that does not happen in five minutes guys i promise you that and that is gorgeous um the detail the shading everything just looks absolutely perfect um very very cool so absolute pc book i love that absolutely gorgeous condition man that is really really cool i really really enjoy this um and again you get, so you got a stack of signed books. Not only um, do they come straight to your door, you don't have to sit in a Comic-Con line. I'm not selling this box, guys. I think this box sells itself. I paid for this box, by the way, so it's not like... It's not like this is free promo. This is... I, I believe in these boxes. I have since the beginning. Go back a year ago, two years ago. I've always hyped these boxes. I think they're amazing. The value is always here. Um... You're talking about, what, what do you say, nine signed books? Nine signed books. And again, I, I go to a lot of Comic-Cons. Signatures are 15 to to $100 per person. And a full sketch like this is usually $100 to $150. Easy. Um, and then you've got to wait all day and come back and get it. Or sometimes next day. So, fantastic. Um, and some keepers out of this for the PC. You can't beat that. Love this box. This is from Ruben Elver at IRF Authentics. I lost the box. What the hell do I do with the box? Plus, room is so small, and I lost the box. So again, custom box as well. I end up reusing these. I don't waste anything in my life. Um, I like to reuse everything. So that box will get reused and hopefully sent to somebody's homes who doesn't have 40 of them, like myself, and uh, can reuse that or display it or whatever. Guys, I appreciate you. I'm going to leave Ruben's links over on, uh, in the description, I'll leave his Instagram link. Uh, I think there are still boxes for this month available, so go check him out. Um, man, what else? He's got a YouTube as well, guys, and he's got some bangers on YouTube. Um, signed Funko Pops, original art, uh, man, original pages vintage and modern i mean just gorgeous stuff so it is worth it to give him a follow over on whatnot as well i'll leave his link down below as well for that guys one of my favorite boxes um from the mystery box game 
all signed and authentic. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect down to the last book from the first book. It is just, I love it. Like I said, I can't, I don't buy these boxes every single month and, and you know, for many reasons, <laughs> um, mainly because my signed image, my signed personal collection has gotten out of hand. So until I can weed that down a little bit, I can't have a ton of stuff coming in that, you know, that I'm just going to keep and keep and keep and keep and keep. Uh, cause I don't have the room. I wish I did. Uh, but like I said, these are bangers, absolutely gorgeous books. Super happy. Um, again, I'm a huge Scotty Young, huge twig guy. And this is PC all day. Great books. I love that Batman version. Another one that's probably gonna be PC. Love these. Fantastic. As always guys, all the links are down below. Thanks for hanging out. Hope everybody has a good weekend, a good week. Whatever you're watching this day on, have a good continuance of that. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.